rid of uh, first Nolly TV. Home of Nollywood movies. You subscribe now. First Nolly TV. Don't talk that. Stand up, my friend! Stand up, you will You will let the blood be on You will let I allow them because I do not want to offend anybody as a new king. But unfortunately, they killed her. I regretted my actions because I should have stood on my orders. But as a new king, I do not want to offend anybody. In fact, I wept the very day Ichi Anochie came and informed me that they've killed the poor old woman. Igwe! 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 Yes, yes, yes. Are you a man? Anochie, what is it? Igwe, they have killed Mbekude. They stoned the old woman to death! Igwe! Who can want and others are taking her body to evil forest, chanting a song that she's a thief? Oh, Onochi, Igwe, they were here not quite long. I told them to leave the woman that I will sit with my cabinet. They refused, saying that my late father will always listen to them. I, I, I pressed further. They refused. I had to wash off my hands. I thought they should have at least sent her away. Not knowing that they will stone her to death. It's a pity. Mm. Igwe, how sure are we that she committed the crime she was accused of? Okanwa is her enemy. And Okanwa is among the people calling her thief. This time it's not Okanwa, but Ikuku. Ikuku is the person that said that she stole from his farm. We will ban people from going to that hut. Using anything or tampering with any of Mbeki's properties. That is what we should do. Igwe. <clears throat> so they stoned the woman to death. Yes. Hmm. But how come they didn't obey you as the king? You told them to allow the woman go home, that you will sit with your cabinet and get back to them. Still, they killed her. This is sad. And probably this old woman never committed the offense she was accused of. That is one moment I always get emotional any time I remember the incident. Because the poor old woman was innocent of the crime she was being accused of. And yet they killed her. It was further revealed that Ikuku abandoned his family and was sleeping with Okanwa. So Mbekude invited Ikuku's wife and confided in her. That was when trouble started brewing. And that was when the plot to kill her was hatched. So they succeeded? Oh, yes. But five market days after the incident, calamity sets in. Ikuku and Okamwa hang themselves. Yeah. And all the people involved in the crime started dying mysteriously. And some were said to have stabbed themselves. Can you imagine the evil plot just to take away the life of a fellow woman? This strange girl 
Who might she be? Just be patient. Soon or later, she will reveal herself to us. But as of now, just know she is a human. young maidens you know to come for a dance your sister may be lucky to be the one that will be the new queen so pass the message across <laughs> there's no problem you know adana she, she must definitely be the queen <laughs> I heard the king will be choosing a wife for his son in two Ekemakert days. The king will not be choosing for the son. Rather, the son will choose for himself. <laughs> How can someone who cannot walk choose a wife? Azukego is right. The father will choose for his son. Ego, stop talking like that. He can't walk but he is not blind. He can actually choose someone. So forget about the father choosing for him. So, both of you will have to go then. Who knows? He may choose any of you. As for me, I am not going. If I want to get married, I will marry a complete man. Not a cripple, no matter the status. Well, the boy is handsome. And the father is a good man. A king that listens to his people. A king that will do whatever it takes for his people to be happy. Do you know that when I lost my father, he personally summoned me and my mother just to console us. His humility is too much. To marry his son, I would have said yes. But, come to think of it, how are we going to be sleeping? And he won't even be crowned king. Why? Because of his condition. That's the law of the land. That's true. The king has no other son. Well, some other girls might be interested. <laughs> Till then, we'll be waiting. My father used to tell me that human spirit comes out after that. But I never believed. He said the reason is that some that were not properly buried, their ancestors will reject them. And that will make their spirit to be floating. Since Mbeke Ude 
was stoned and dumped into the evil forest. Don't you think her spirit will be floating? You are not far from the truth. Did you perform her burial right? Did anyone think about her innocence anymore? And try to do something to appease her soul? Well, we, you should have raised this issue in the palace. Why are you bringing it up now? It's something that made this issue come up. None of us thought about it like that. But I think, I think we should do something about it. Yes. Let's go. Oh, come, let's go so that we can meet up. It seems your mother has realized that. Hot water kills tortoises, anyhow. We've been sleeping in peace since the day her eyes were closed. There is silence in the Dekas compound, unlike before. What is your concern in all this? She is my mother and not yours. Her eyes are closed and not yours. Why don't you mind your business? See, Chamaka, don't you ever in your life stop me to talk rubbish. Are you warning me? Are you warning me? Oh, no, ma. Okay. <laughs> Look at this rat. If you point at me again, I will break your finger. Don't worry. I heard you and your mother from the lineage of hangers. She will say hang herself. Just like a mother. Then you will follow. Evil people. Chamaka, you are very stupid. Chamaka, you are very stupid. Don't that fire you. In fact, it is you and your family that will hang themselves. Stupid girl. You Have you been? I went home, Your Majesty. Which of the homes? And which of my homes do you know, Your Majesty? Mbekude's hut and the other side. The other side. Your son cannot walk. Have you asked the gods why? Um. Let's go and sit down. A king does not stand while the throne is waiting. Let's go in. Very well, Your Majesty. You vanished the last time you were here. And left me pondering on your person. Even the name of Mwekude you mentioned was also a great puzzle to me. Could it be you are her reincarnate and she sent you from the spirit world to avenge her death? Those who committed the sacrilege are long decayed in their graves. The fact you told them to allow the woman go back to her hut so you could decide on the issue was the best you've done. 
the mere fact you washed your hands off was what made you a wise king. Your Majesty, I came to this world on my own. I hate to see people shed tears. Your community is filled with envy. But I have warned the people to desist from hatred and allow love fill their hearts. Back to what you asked earlier. My name is Azoka Ego. I am not Mbeke Ude. I'm not so comfortable with your response, especially when you mentioned Mbeke Ude's name. Please, who are you? Your Majesty, forget about my person and my lonely world. They do not matter for now. I want to see the prince. My son? But he can walk. I am aware, your majesty. Please, send one of your guards to bring him. I want to ask him a question. Guard. Your majesty. Let's go to the other channel. That's where he is. So we can see him. With due respect to the royal home, Your Majesty, I do not want Lolo and your daughter in this meeting. I need a color note and an alligator pepper. The guards should leave too.
I can walk. I can walk. Mother. Emma. As you go. I can walk. What a great power hovering around you. Before my very eyes. My son steps. Oh, what just happened here? I can't believe it. The ancestral curse of lameness in the royal family has been broken. Something happened years ago, but it's been broken from the ancestral cave. Do not tell anyone what happened here. Thank you. Thank you so much. But I can walk, Father. Mother! Oma! I can walk! But how, how did she do it? What? I can walk, Mother. <laughs> What's happened? Zingi! Oh, Mama, who's the man is it? Eh? Who's the? Who's the man, my son? How? Who's the man? You are wicked. Your soul is black. What have your mother and your sister done to you that you have turned your back on us like this? Hey, is it good, my son? Hmm? You know that your mother does not see you again. And you have refused to provide for us. Who's Odima? You have refused to provide food for your mother and your sister. Hey, hey. Since your senses are gradually coming back. Just look at the way you're talking, mother. So you can actually reduce the tone of your voice like this. Mother. Mama. Whatever we saw, Mama. That same thing all of us shall make. You are my mother. But I refuse to follow the if your mother built that took the life of that old woman. We could. Look at your daughter. She is gradually learning. That is if she has not learned already. Ah, brother, I'm not learning again. No. I'm not learning again. Biko, eh? Mm. Help us with food, eh? Talk to Papa to give us food. Biko. Brother Biko. 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 To give you food. Nam Biko. Food. When I was telling you to follow your mates, follow your mates to the farm, you refused. Rather, you were busy running your mouth, insulting Wakego. Calling her names. You even called me a fool. I told you you would regret it. Brother Biko, we have not eaten this morning. Brother Biko, what was your food, brother? Please, Biko, please. Even if it's a little food, brother Biko. Small. Please, we are hungry. We have not eaten. Cha cha. Biko. You have not eaten. Not enough. This food, Biko. Listen. If not for the sake of motherhood and sisterhood, I would have allowed hunger to clear your intestines. Come on, have some food. Oh, ah, I'm coming. Come down. Oh. oh, thank you very much. Oh, from Naso, Puru, 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 Puru. I go. Is that Wakego? Yes, Mama, my sister Wakego. Oh. Welcome, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm. 
Si Adoram Mao. Welcome, Hazukego. Thank you once again. I've been looking for you since then, everywhere. You vanished in my arms and made me so scared. If I wasn't a man, I would have run away that day. You possess unimaginable powers. Since that incident, I have been walking around with my two feet. Look at me. It's three days now and I'm making perfect use of my legs. Thank you so much. I want to see you at Mweko Day's hut. In three days. Mweko Day's hut. Yes. I'm sorry. I cannot step my feet into that hut because of the stories around it. Wait a minute. Are you the young woman rumored to be sleeping in that hut alone? It's no rumor, my prince. It's reality. It's a hut. Someone has to sleep in it. He... In... Three days, you said? You heard me loud and clear. Do not come with anyone. Kedu de Made be happy good. Oh it's surprising. I've not seen the prince, at least to know if what people are saying is true or not. But they say he can walk again. Hmm. Is he just walking around the palace? A prince should walk around the village so his people can see him. Is he not tired of sitting at a place, lying down at a place? Are you asking me? Yes, because you're supposed to have gone to the palace. To see if what they are saying is true. Or you ask your father. He's a member of the cabinet. Ugochi, it seems you have nothing meaningful to say. Please, can we go? If my father is alive, he would have been a member of the cabinet. At least I would have had an idea of what is going on with the prince. Can we go? Anyways, since you say we should go, no problems. Let's go. Not too long. The breeze will blow and the mother hen's buttocks will be wide open. Son, even if you go there, you will not go alone. That very girl might have something in mind she's aborting. Listen, your father has told me the story of the old woman that owns that hut. I don't want you to make any mistake. Have you spoken to your father about this? No, but I still will tell him. I have also heard the story of this girl. The day she came here and asked mother and I to leave was the same day I swore never to have anything to do with her. The same day you got walking and you and father kept from us how it happened. Let me go there first. She won't kill me. Whatever transpired there, I will relate to you. That girl is evil! You must not allow her to talk you into doing anything stupid. Enough, Oma. More than leave me. I know what I am saying. I'm hungry. Go and get your brother his food. Greetings, elders. Hey, who am I seeing? Prince A.G.K. Moa. Is this you? Yes, it is. Igwe, what happened? You never told us that your son is now back on his feet. I, I, I am shocked. Whoever did this is a great Dibia. 
and deserves handshake. Um, um, we shall celebrate after we are done with the tradition of choosing a wife. Eh? Whoever that is behind this is a great magician. Eh? More than a magician. Father, I would like to have a word with you later. I will see you soon. My heart is My heart is Discuss about this. Haven't you heard of uh, First Molly TV? Home of Nollywood movies. Subscribe now. First Molly TV. Don't talk that.